Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel, and this is Scott. Today, we're going to learn how to build an Ubuntu desktop inside of Docker. You can build your own Docker images with the Docker build command. Although Docker is designed to virtualize applications, you can consider for the purposes of this video that Ubuntu is an application. In the last video, we used the Docker run to create interactive sessions with an Ubuntu command line to test using networks in Docker. This time, we're going to build a complete Ubuntu desktop that can be run inside of Docker. So, in order to create a Docker file, a Docker file builds a container rather than downloading it from the Docker hub. We simply edit and create a file called Docker file. You can put any commands that you want to execute in the Docker file depending upon your requirements. We are going to use an Ubuntu container as the starting point or base from the Docker hub and we're going to add a desktop to that Ubuntu. So the Docker file Again, we do a nano on a file called Docker file, and here is the sample Docker file that I've created. So we're drawing from an Ubuntu image, so it will actually download an Ubuntu image to your Docker host. And then we're running an apt update, which we found we had to do even in interactive containers before we installed anything. And then we're doing an apt install on the Lubuntu desktop. We're removing the reboot command because the container is not running systemctl and we don't really have a way to reboot the operating system instance from inside of Docker successfully, or I've not found a way. Then I'm adding a user account called Scott and I'm giving it a password of testing. And then I'm providing myself with pseudo privilege by putting the Scott user account in the pseudo group. And then I'm installing XRDP, which is the RDP protocol, which makes it easy to connect to our container from Windows or Linux or whatever has, happens to have an RDP client. And I'm adding the um, SSL cert into the RDP command or the RDP user in order to support that. And then we're creating a short, a short uh, command file basically. And this command file is responsible for starting the um, X session that's required to make the initial connection. It's a Lubuntu session. It is uh, running X11. Uh, X11 QT specifically, and I'm configuring uh, the directory and then starting the uh, window manager which hosts the logon. And then in the case where I create a container that is running inside of the uh, inside of Docker, that means it's not running out on the LAN and it uses the Docker uh, host address, we've got to expose port 3389, which is the port that RDP uses for its service. And then finally, we start the X RDP service and we go into a Bosch shell, which is why this needs to be an interactive session to run all these commands. So we create the container with a Docker build space dash T desktop and then uh, a period after it. And the period is required. It tells it where to build it, which is the current folder. And this command will run for several minutes to install all of the programs defined in the Docker file. It's almost like we're building Ubuntu from scratch because the Ubuntu container does not have a desktop and this will be installing the desktop into the container with the commands that we saw on the previous page. So once that's completed, you can do a Docker images command and you'll see that we have an Ubuntu image pulled down uh, and then we built on that Ubuntu image and we created our own image called 
desktop. So now we want to start a container with the new image that we created with the docker build command. So we do a docker run, interactive, detach it, call it my desktop, and ex take internal port 3389, which it's exposing, and put that on 3389 on our Docker host and use the image called desktop. And that's what I've done here. And if you do a Docker PS command, you can see that that uh, image is running. So you can connect to the new desktop using remote desktop protocol RDP from any RDP client using the address of the Docker host. RDP defaults to that port 3389 that we used and exposed to the network. So you can also create a desktop Docker on your LAN, leveraging what we learned in the last video. We create a Docker network on your untagged main LAN. We're using exactly the command we did in the last video, and I'm creating a Mac VLAN uh, Docker network on my subnet of 172.16.0.0 with a subnet mask of 16. Uh, yours might be uh, 192.168.1.0 with a subnet mask of 24. And I'm putting in my gateway address, which is the gateway address for the router on the network of 172.16.0.1. Yours might be 192.168.1.1. And the parent is ENP4S0 because that's the name of my Ethernet device on my system. And I'm calling this network exposed. So now I want to start my Docker container with my full desktop on my main LAN. And that command is going to be docker run dash it dash d. I'm giving it a name of LAN dash desktop. I'm using the exposed network that I created here. And I'm giving it an address of 172.16.1.200, which is a val valid address on my main LAN and I'm using the image named Docker to create this container. So let's see how this desktop works. So here we are at the command prompt on the Docker host, and if I do a Docker network ls, you can see that I have the network exposed that we created here. We also created this in the last video. And I had also left the VLAN 80 network out here as well. So if we do a Docker PS, we now have two images running, two containers running. One container is called LAN Desktop. This container does not have any ports exposed because it's running on its own address of 190 or 172.16.1.200 and the second container exposes port 3389 and it's because it's running on the docker host and it's called my desktop so here we are with apache guacamole and we're going to connect to the docker desktop on the lan we immediately get an xrdp logon session manager. I'm going to type in the username of Scott, which we had in the Docker file, and the password of testing. And here is our Ubuntu desktop that logged in. And I go down to system tools, Q terminal. I can do an if config and we are running at 172.16.1.200 which is on the main LAN using that exposed network. I can do anything else I would do in Ubuntu like open the file manager, open a web browser. We can go to www.google.com 
that works just great. We can go to www.scottabyte.com and we're at my web server. So all of this works and it is a great way to have a throwdown uh, prototype system that you can use. Just keep in mind that if you stop the container, um, you're going to have uh, uh, all your non-volatile data lost. So it's good for prototyping and good for a once-off attempt at doing things. In summary, it is possible to create a Docker container with a desktop interface. With Docker Networks, we created a L Ubuntu desktop on the main LAN. In this implementation, this desktop is volatile and any changes made to it will not persist after the Docker container is restarted. I have not found a reliable way to get the interactive container to stop and restart anyway. So this is valuable to create a test desktop for prototyping. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, please subscribe and like to the channel and we'll see you next time.